Does breast milk hold part of the answer to the most common type of cancer in Britain? Cambridge scientists have been analysing how the cells in the milk change during lactation. By comparing these breast milk cells here with the cells from a breast of someone who isn't pregnant, the team are looking at two key health issues. The first is, why are some people more susceptible to breast cancer? And the other is why some people struggle to produce enough breast milk. The reality is, scientists don't really know what causes breast cancer. But all the data suggests that there is a relationship between the disease and breastfeeding. We know that people who undergo pregnancy and lactation have an overall lower breast cancer risk, um, but we don't know how. So what we're looking at is the cells in the milk and seeing how they're different to the cells in the breast, how they might be interacting differently, and obviously the functions that they're performing. So they've been able to build up this picture of what's happening inside the breast, thanks to volunteers donating their milk. Once I started inviting participants to then come and provide samples, they'd get really excited about it. So they would tell their friends and we would explain the research to them. And it just built this really wonderful community. Their results will eventually feed into a hugely ambitious project called the Human Cell Atlas. So this study is part of a global effort where we're trying to map all the cells in the human breast and identify them and understand how they interact with each other. But not only that, also try and see how they interact with each other during pregnancy and how that differs, for example, to during lactation. And having this information and sharing it with scientists around the world will hopefully allow us to identify early stages of disease such as breast cancer. And that is the key. The earlier you catch the disease, the better your chances of beating it. Richard Westcott, BBC News, Cambridge.